hear it for the unsung hero of automotive designs. Who helped you navigate a dark road without street lights in the pouring rain? Who helped you realize that the car was indeed backing up in front of you in the coffee shop drive through line? And who lets other people know when you need to brake quickly to avoid that squirrel dancing in the street? Yes, that's right. Your rear LED lights. Of course you know what kind of benefits they bring to our daily drives. But did you know that the right LED driver can also lower your bomb cost and help distribute heat? It's true. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. There has been a lot of innovation in the world of automotive designs over the last several years. And this innovation even includes the LED lights at the rear of our vehicles. In this episode of Chalk Talk, Nick Akuda from Rome Semiconductor and I investigate Rome's automotive LED driver ICs. We take a closer look at why their four-channel outputs, energy-saving function, and integrated protection functions make these new driver ICs a great solution for rear lamp design. Hi, Nick. Thank you so much for joining me today. Yeah, thank you for giving the opportunity to introduce our product. Absolutely. Now, Nick, we're talking about automotive LED driver ICs today. But before we get into the details, can you give us an overview of Rome's LED driver offerings in this arena? Yes, of course. A Rome Corporation is the semiconductor company who provides the automotive grade product into the market, whether it's going to be the United States or America, uh, in China or Japan. And we have a broad portfolio today. And especially recently, we're targeting more in the external lighting products or external lighting application by supplying our LED driver products. Excellent. So specifically for the BD183370 EEV and the 1834 EFV, how do they compare with other LED drivers in your portfolio? Within the LED drivers, we have a linear type LED driver and a switching type LED drivers. For the switching type of LED drivers, these are for more and higher current applications within the automotive exterior lighting system. And for more higher number of counts of LED driver, we recommend our linear type driver, which BD18347 and 18337s are the ones that with the four channel linear type LED drivers. Fantastic. Now, Nick, can we get into the details and take a closer look at what this LED driver would look like in an automotive system? Yes. So in a typical lighting systems, uh, there is uh, so many LEDs to utilize the tail lamp or headlamp systems. Now, to have an individual controls of those LEDs, we make this LED driver who are able to individually control or so many LEDs in the units. So in the broke diagram, LEDs are taking a power from a battery on the board or battery on the vehicle. In the middle of this battery and the LEDs, here sits the LED driver who will be controlling the current going into the LEDs. And of course, depending on what the function of the LED tail system, whether it's going to be a turn or stop or tail or other systems with the lighting system, these are taken care of by the LED drivers. Okay, cool. Now, Nick, what does this particular LED driver really buy me as an engineer? BD18337 and one 8347 had several unique key points. Number one, it is a four-channel LED driver who can handle two or three LEDs in a series. That makes eight or 12 LEDs driven by only single LED driver. Number two is a unique energy sharing function together with these linear driving LEDs, which will be contributing to the saving of bomb cost and as well as in saving space on the PCB board. And also this part has a, a call with PBUS, which is a protection bus function to realize one out all out function. Okay, great. Now, can you explain a bit more about this PBUS function? PBUS function is a dedicated function to support one out all out requirement which is typically required in automotive lighting systems. So what's one out all is, 
If you haven't detected any of a channel's fault conditions, such as open LEDs, that signal has to be shared amongst the uh, several LED drivers on the board because typical lighting system has uh, many LEDs, meaning that you will need a multiple chip, multiple LED drivers to control the LEDs. So idea here is PBUS function is an IO pin, which can be shared with the connected LED drivers, which is relaying a signal by detecting any fault condition is within any channel of the LED driver. What it does is it turns off all remaining LED channels once it detects any of the channel had any fault in this system. Okay, so Nick, energy sharing is also an important aspect here as well, right? What does that function look like? Yes, the idea is energy sharing function is to distribute the power which should be supposed to be consumed in the LED driver itself. The having this function, you are not limiting yourself by a linear power consumption with an LED driver, but separating this energy to external registers so that you can save the heat increase at the LED driver side. Okay, so what if there is a fault in one of the LEDs? What's the best way to fix that? For BD18347 and 18337, we have this MSET pin and the previous mentioned PBUS pin to support the lighting pattern or lighting behavior of the lighting systems. So once you get this LED fault conditions been detected, once either can select to turn all the LEDs off or you can keep the LEDs remaining operational, but just turn off the, the ones that have in fault conditions. With the M set pin, either you open the pin to support continuously operating the remaining channel, or if you grant it I an mean, M set pin, then you can turn off all the LEDs. All together with the PBUS function, as I mentioned in a previous slide, with the PBUS, you can do this one out, all out function by just connecting PBUS. So Nick, you also mentioned that this solution saves space and reduces the number of ICs needed as well. So can you give me some more details about that? Yes, sure. This is an actual real design example, having a left and light and also center tail light system. Assuming that the LED has been used, required 32 pieces in a unit, having that condition with our solution BD18347 and 337, since it has a four channel, total amount of ICs needed to create this lighting system is only requires eight pieces of the ICs. Whereas the other solution out there in the market only has a three channel, meaning that you will need 14 pieces of LEDs drivers to realize the system. So there is the uh, number of countable LED driver difference, 8 to 14. Also, with the PBUS function with our product, you are not re requiring any external circuitry to handle this uh, full condition, such as one out or all out function, because with a PBUS connection, that will be done. With a little smaller number of LED drivers in the system, as well as elimination of the external circuitry for taking care of one not on all function will save space and also the bomb cost. Okay, so Nick, can we circle back to that energy sharing function a bit as well? Yeah, a little bit in detail. So let's consider there is the a condition that you have in 300 milliamps current drive, linear type driver here. So with the energy sharing function, you will be limiting power consumption at the LED driver, which is BD18347 and 18337, at the level 1.3 watts, because you are sharing the energy to external register. However, in the conventional wind approach, you're consuming all the energy within the LED driver, which means it will be exceeding a TJ max of the driver itself. So you will need an extra LED driver to handle 300 milliamps LED drive as showing this figure here. So by having an energy sharing function, it's not just helping out the thermal design of your unit itself, but at the same time, you're saving total bump cost. So Nick, this has been a lot to take in today. Can you recap your main points for me? Here's a takeaway from our talk today. 
So BD18337 and 18347 is the best pick for your real amp designs because it can provide a better future sets in terms of cost and space saving. MSET1 and PBUS function with our unique protection feature can lower the cost by saving a external circuitry components, but realizing one out all out function. And of course, having four channel output、uh, compared to the、uh, three or two dual channel up there can increase the drivable LEDs within the system, minimizing the、uh, numbers of LED driver. And finally, the energy sharing function, which will be shifting the power outside from the LED driver, will save the、uh, total amount of the driver cost compared to the conventional way of the approach. And of course, at the same time, It will give you a better thermal design of the unit. Excellent. Well, Nick, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you very much. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about this topic from Rome Semiconductor. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it, it's right across the top. Or check out YouTube, youtube.com slash 